the step of the terror weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, a way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break. Got the tropic on a fresh car, sushi on a platter, ready. Positivity to this party, don't want no drama with any bad karma Got a lot of that in Levita Loke, I just wanna let it all go Yeah, I can't say no when I'm this free Don't wanna go home or I can't sleep Weather's so nice, only got good vibes Yeah, we're here chillin', chillin' in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt And welcome to my channel my name is Jessica and this is my channel ready stitch so so I thought I'd do like a weekend vlog because tomorrow so excited I am going to go to the knitting and stitching show that's in Alexander Palace Um, so I'm actually back in my hotel room just like um, there's a lovely uh, travel lodge where there's like, we come outside the hotel, there's like loads of restaurants, uh, uh, restaurants that you can eat, uh, to have like a shopping mall and everything. So, um, you, you probably see uh, a little bit of footage before um, with some music, uh, getting to, from Leeds to actually go into London in King's Cross. Um, so, as we was actually on the train, um, I am here with my mum, which you don't want to be on camera. Um, she's a bit of camera shy, but you'll probably see you probably see um, little things what I've been doing um, from today, and also for tomorrow, which is going to be the um, the main event. So I we went got on got on a train, um, and when we was on the train, um, me and my mum went to. Um, Jeff, uh, Jeff Wayne's War of War of the Worlds um, experience. Um, so you probably see when we open the doors. Um, yeah, so it's more like a VR experience about if you know um, War of the Worlds musical, and yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> like some parts were a bit scary, but overall. It was great if you want to if you actually if you actually are a war of the worlds uh, fan um we've got like um great actors and the music you spend lots of time in the dark which was kind of funny um but overall it's a great experience if you like um that musical so yeah um we're trying to trying to figure out how to get to back to the hotel um, from the war experience, uh, um, the war world's experience. So yeah, he's just trying to get there to get to the hotel. 
Um, so it didn't take actually a very, very long to actually get to the hotel and uh, the travel lodge. And yeah, so I am back uh, in my in my hotel room. So I'm going to go get in the shower because, yeah, my hair, I did actually come get a shower yesterday because I want to finish off a, a, a top so I can wear on a day to knit and stitch and show. But... I just um, couldn't finish it in time, so I thought I'll go. I'll get up a bit early uh, this morning, trying to finish it, and then yeah, fortunately I didn't finish it. But I'll tr I'll try, and once I get back home um, on Sunday, which is um, we stop here for two nights, so I'll, pro I'll probably show you then. Um, so the to so the main, the main day is going to be tomorrow. Um, so it's my first time actually going to the knitting and stitching show in Alexander Palace. So yeah, I cannot wait. So anyway, I'm going to go um, get an early night and then wake up in the morning uh, looking all refreshed um, and actually get there. So I'll probably do some little bit of footage, me um, being at the knitting and stitching show at Alexander Palace. Um, and I'm probably going to show you what, what I have bought when I actually get back home. So anyway, um, I'll see you shortly. Bye. <laughs>
music Somehow you're fine with it Even when I'm chaotic Jessica um, so I have just come back from my hotel room and you never guess well you probably guess because I told you yesterday that I went to the knitting and stitching show at Alexander Palace it's my first time and oh my word if you haven't been to one of if you haven't been to this stitching show at Alexander Palace in London you know it's once in a lifetime um, to actually go the, the place was absolutely massive absolutely mass massive so what happened what happened since i got up until now uh, right now it's about half past seven at night so it's kind of a bit dark so i'm trying to think where i can actually put place my phone because i actually record it on my phone um so what happened was we got up, me and my mum. My mum was actually behind me, but she wants to be on camera. Um, so she's keeping it very, very quiet. So when I'm talking to you guys. So on the day, we got up, got some breakfast. Um, went into Greg's, has a cheeky Greg's. And then we're trying to figure out how to get to the knitting and stitching show from our hotel, which is also in Wood Green. Um, and... It was so easy to actually get, you can actually get by train because it's actually about a five minute walk from my hotel to the, the train station. And there's also uh, about around the corner, um, there's also a free shuttle bus. Um, so you can actually get a bus um, to actually get to get an on to, to the knitting and stitching show. But there was a free shuttle bus uh, round, round, round the corner and we didn't actually know until you asked some for, someone for directions, um, which that was great. And then we just caught the bus. <laughs> um, so that, so that, that was good. Um, so as soon as we got there, it got, uh, we got there for about 10 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, so the reason why I went a bit early is because I want to do a, a workshop. Why not? There's loads, there's loads of workshops for you to get involved on the day, depending on what you want to do. So my idea, I've always wanted to make my own headbands. And um, you have to go into a, like a little hall um, for like different workshops, depending um, where you want to go do it it was easy to get to as well and um, loads of people showing you directions on uh, where the workshop is uh, so my workshop was create headbands which was at 11 o'clock so before before the workshop uh, I had like an hour before a bit of spending uh, <laughs> so uh, no particular order because I can't really remember which shop I went to first so I think I went to Heffel and Joan, uh, which she sells some beautiful buttons um, and I want to get like some earrings. So there were, lo there were loads of um, things to choose from. It was so, be so beautiful, um, which I'll probably show you a few photos as well um, of what I've actually bought. But I'm going to show you right at the end when I, when I come home. So uh, yeah, I took I took a picture of it, which was very nice. Uh, got got chatting away and everything, and we headed over. I headed over to uh, Little Rosa Cheeks, Victoria, and and Jen from uh, Jen Generates. She was very very bubbly, very, very chatty uh, to uh, to uh, women, um, which was absolutely which I love I love her uh, labels. Uh, from Little Rosy Cheeks, I've got some labels. 
and then it got to a point where right I need to head off to do the workshop um so I said to my mum right you get yourself a coffee or you can have a look around until and um, we can meet back after the workshop so on on the workshop on into um to create your own headband because I really want to see how you can actually do it based on just some fabric some bit of foam and also on the day um there was someone called ne na nez nez i can't remember her name because it's been such a long day so i'll put the name um at the screen here and actually a picture of what she looks like um but yeah she was i've actually followed her on instagram and she's she's so lovely she makes her own um, makes her own designs from fabrics she's actually got like a um, a lovely business based on on and so be using her some fabrics that hasn't been on her website which was which was really good um and on the day and the, on the workshop i've done i've done some beading which i've never done it took me ages trying to how to do it but once once shown a couple of times then she was great. And then got to the third time, she said, oh, could you take, to take a video? Um, so, so video, video of me, how to do some bathing on some piece of fabric. Um, so I've been going back and forth with that video and it's helped to, it's helped me out on the day as well, which has been lovely. Um, so I think, and then you get some, like some ribbon to go, go, that goes all the way around the headband as well. Um, so you can actually take it home and all you have to do is just glue it all together. So it's mainly just covering the whole headband. So I've got a few headbands at home where the fabric is just coming off. So you can just, uh, you know how to do it, then do, then just do it. So that that, that was a good experience. Um, the, only, the only few, the, like, the, the, the workshop was booked, um, but to do a workshop, why you know you might as well go on the day. Um, that's what my mum said uh, be before this event. Said, "What well, you know, just do a workshop." And I was looking through on on the website if you can, ah, oh, you know, create headbands. I go, I'll, I'll go and uh, on the day. So yeah, so by the time by the time I've, we finished the workshop, uh, got to like half past twelve, and oh my word, it got. A bit very very busy, uh, which I didn't I didn't get I didn't get to I didn't actually do any footage, um, so yeah, it was um, it got to a point where you just you, there's so many people, um, got a bit busy right about when I finished the workshop until about half past two, got a bit busy, um, so I thought right. Me and my mum decided we need something to eat. But it was really, really hard to try and find somewhere to sit down and, you know, to have a, to have a coffee. So I don't want to spend most of the time on the floor. Um, so we went to, a, went to a little bar called the Phoenix Bar. I put like a little footage of me um, eat well, what I've got. And we've got a, a meatball bahini. And oh my word, it was handmade as well. And it was the most gorgeous bean I've ever tasted. Um, and so, but it was really hard to actually, you know, sit down. Um, so, so, so me and my mum got really lucky to actually get a table. Um, so, so, so we've eaten and then it got a bit quieter toward, towards the end. So I've got a few fabrics as well. I've got some fabric from Fabric Godmother. Um, and I went to Tilly and Buttons as well, got some patterns um, from Tilly. And I went, when I was buying her patterns, Abby, what Abby sews, she was actually at the stand. And I said, oh, is Tilly, is Tilly about? She said, no, she's on the break. So I thought, right, okay, then I'll buy the patterns and I'll come back around about later on. And she was there. So I thought, right then, I jumped at the chance to, you know, have a, to have a little, um, have a little chat. And then I said to her, "Can you sign one of my sewing patterns?" Um, so that that was that was really lovely. She mo she was most lovely, bubbly person. Um, but it's nice it's nice to see someone 
you know, actually see them on the screen, actually see them in person. Um, so yeah, that's lovely. And everyone will just, even though it was a bit busy, but it was really nice to walk all around literally at the end. So I got a few, I got a few bits, and on my word, I got a few, I got some some um, fabrics and some sewing stuff as well that I want to get on the day. So I'm here in the back in my hotel. It's a it's it, you know it's getting a bit late. So yeah. So anyway, um, tomorrow is when I'm going to go home. Uh, I'm going to catch the train um, to get to Leeds, and I'm probably going to show you um some footage of me on the day of what footage i got on the day and then uh, when i get back i'm going to show you of what i bought so i'll see you when i get when i get home in my same room see you later bye So it is um, a bit later um, on Sunday night, so and it's a bit dark outside because when I got home from from Leeds, my my sister decided to pick us to pick me and my mum in her new car and drove us back home. And mum, uh, bless it, she went. Um, and she went back home to uh, uh, country Durham. That's where she lives. So I had, I had the. You no, know, it's been a bit tired because I had to get up uh, today. You know, get packed, get everything, and put everything in in you know in things in my case. You know, I got things in bags, so I had a lot to take back home. So. So I have got a lot of things to show you what I've got and knit and stitch and show. So is it I have been I have been I have been at home about a couple of hours now. So I thought, you know what? I'll just get something to eat and just wear my unfinished sagebrush top by Fire Pack Company. That's what I'm wearing. So this is my ever first making um this sagebrush top by the Fire Pack. By the pattern company so i'll just quickly just stand up um so this is what i was going to wear uh for the knitting and stitching show but i didn't get i didn't actually finish off in time so all i need to do is to hem to hem the sleeves and put some elasticated um some elastic you know for the hem and both sleeves and then I need to just do the hem, and that's about it. So, yeah, but all over and all, I haven't done a too bad. I could have, like, you know, I thought it was a bit, uh, it's a bit, like, a bit tight through there. But all over and all, I think, I just, sorry, I just sort myself out. But at the end of the day, I haven't done, I have done a really good job because I was really, really scared. But... Because I couldn't make it in time for knitting and stitching show, this was my aim to wear this. But do you know what? I think I'm just going to, you know, show you on how I got on. But I'm going to, I still need to finish off, you know, the sleeves, put some elastic and then the hem. And I think that's all about done. I've done the ties at the back, it ties at the back, um, done some ruffle. And do you know what? I have done. A really good job with like the net band because that was my tricky part is doing the net band but all in all i'm definitely gonna make another one again so um uh, before so this part of the end of the video um and then i'm going to show you what i've got from the tin stitching show and tell you a few things what happened on the day um when i went to the tin stitching show on uh, yesterday which was a saturday So let's, let's um, show you what I have bought. So I thought I'd do. I thought I'd show you like a, a picture on uh, like a like a sneaky peek um, picture because I just put everything out on my cutting table. So I was going to grab things, but I don't know when, what time I got this. So I've got a couple of fabrics to show you. A few things that I've got. So, so. 
Um, on the day, um, I went uh, to do a workshop on um, that said create headbands, and um, she's called because when, when I came back to the hotel, I actually remember her name. She's called N Nerese. I think that's what her name is, and um, obviously because the the workshop was you know getting a bit late because it's supposed to like finish like about quarter past 12 but we finished until 12 o'clock so i'm going to show you a little bit this is the little bag that it comes with i'm still i still didn't want to finish it off so and this is how this is the this is the fabric that i've chosen to make the headband and this is some bit of foam and basically going towards the workshop um she said to actually cut down a centimetre and then just fold it and then just fold it like that like that and then and then just stitch around the sides and then you just glue your headband so this is how i got on with doing some doing some beading and that's how i got up to but do you know what i have never done any beading before so it was just a new skill in itself so so i've got like the the head the headband some bit of oh, some bit of um some bit of ribbon to go round that side i think um so i've got the thread that we're using um, and then I got some like beads and stuff to so ask um, to to actually um, to actually make it and finish it when you get home. So that so that was nice. Um, and then and then before I went to the workshop because I went to to Alexander Palace about ten o'clock. So I thought I'm going to show you. So we. We had a look around and then the first thing that I got was from um, Ethel and Joe. So let's see if I can find it. So here it is. This is uh, you get like a little, little postcard that says thank you very much for your order. You have amazing taste. And in one of these little bags, um, I got myself some pair of some pair of these beautiful these beautiful earrings so i'm gonna actually i'm gonna wear these to go with what i'm actually wearing so they're actually really really cute so if you like one of these she sells like um like different like like buttons and everything like that so um, I bought I bought this for myself, and then my mum said, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get you some buttons." Now she's had a she's had a lot of a collection of buttons, so I was like, you know, I was I was there for ages trying to see what buttons, and these ones that I've got, they've got all these beautiful, really beautiful colours. They've got like a blue, you know, and they're all like in different colours, so. I've never bought any. This is my first time actually getting some buttons from Ethel and Joe, and I finally got some. So, yeah, and then I think you get some like some some um, Parma violets as well. Um, yeah, I thought I thought that was a really nice touch. So there are from um, Ethel and and Joan. So. I've got some labels from Little Rosy Cheeks. So I've got three, three labels. So I have got um, Perfectly Me, which is that one. Um, and I really do like that one because it's got like a bit of pink, a bit of blue. So I've got those as well. And then um i know a lot of people has got one of these so i got one that says swing it swing it shake it move it made it and i think i think that sounds like often like a um a space um spice girls song 
The way we shake it, move it, make it who you think you are. That. <laughs> and then I've got like some black ones as well. That's creativity. It never goes out of style. So there, so there, so I got, I've got just a few labels as well. I always, every time I go to these knitting and stitching shows, I always get some, some labels. And, and I thought, I thought these were lo lo lovely and cute. So I got um, two, uh, some fee, um, some fee labels, and it says size size me. Do you know what I thought that was really? So, um, so that's what I've got. Some loads of cheeks, and then, um, and then when I was looking. When I was looking uh, on 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 the, on the um, Rosie Cheeks star, they had these, and I just got all my words. So I'm going to open it up. Sorry, a little bit of bustling. Trying to get out of the pocket. I uh, get to out of the packet. Guess what I got? I have got. I have got um, this. So I'm thinking about putting it on, um, putting it on uh, like a pegboard somewhere. Oh God, I'm dropping everything. So this one's from um, uh, Generates by Jen Hogg. And basically, I've always wanted to get like something like this. So this actually tells you a watch of what sewing needle I've got in my sewing machine. So I got I grabbed that and I think it was only like two fifty. So I got this from from Jen, uh, at, by uh, Generates by Jen Hogg, which I've I've also got like a uh, from also for when I went to go to get the labels, um uh, my mom my mom said all oh, right they had one of these so I'm just gonna I'm gonna open this up and I'm just like oh my word this is gonna be amazing. Um, so um, here, and I've got myself a little label holder. Um, and I don't think it's, I don't think it's on the website on the Little Rosy Cheeks website. Um, so she's got these, and I because I'm starting to get like a little bit of label collection, and I got myself a little cute little. Um, little labels. So, let me just get the labels that I've just already bought and started. And basically, it's similar. It's similar to like you know, like uh, remember when you were a little kid, we had like Pokemon cards. So it's similar. So I've just got five at the minute. So I'm gonna get my lab, get my labels, get them out. Oh, and start by putting on the labels in here, in this label holder. Um, and Victoria was selling them in all different colours and yeah. So, do you know what? I'm going to start putting them all in. So, let's make a start by putting some of these labels in. So, I've just put all of my labels that I bought at Little Rose of Cheeks and here it is. You know what? I'm starting to get a collection already. So, and yeah, I think that's absolutely absolutely a good idea to get this from Little Rose of Cheeks. So, I think this might be on uh, her website in the few days time. So, yeah, so just so keep your eyes peeled and try to get one of these from Little Rosie's Cheeks. So I got the pink one. Um, so, so yeah, that's what I've got from from Little from Little Rose from Little Rosie Cheeks. Then I and want then... to I want to treat myself to get um, a a seam ripper. So I went to beyond beyond measure and i got myself a a seam a seam ripper so it comes it comes in, in this little little bag 
and then I can't remember which one I got actually. I think I got the oak one. Um so and it tell it tells you how to it it tells you to insert the the stitch ripper and also it comes in it comes in with I don't really get it out so I think in this little tin if you get it out it's got like the seam of pit inside and here it is this is one i've got from um so there's like a seam ripper and so for some reason, a little a little um seam ripper and i've always wanted to get one of these so i actually got one so i'll just so i'll just put this back in the tin it do comes in with the blade do comes in with the blade um the ripper blade and yeah so yeah so i've got myself a a seam ripper i like to treat myself because you know i think that's going to come in handy because i'm always using the seam use the seam ripper so i treat myself to a nicer one so it's going to put once i've sorted it out i'm going to put it on here so i know it's there so that is that that's from beyond beyond the measure and it comes in like a little little bag which is really nice and cute um everything that i've shown i'm gonna put in this uh all the links in the description box down below so um i've got myself some some magic pins and i can't remember for a life of me what i got these from and um these are i've heard so many people use these pins and um these were like 12.50 and these are fine fine uh magic pins and um they're very very comfort to grab handles design just like it comes in like a little uh, case and holds many layers of fabric and and you can use these when you and you can iron that you can use these for the iron as well so yeah and you get a 50 you get 50 pins in this and like, they're all like different colors and i thought you know what i was i wanted to get myself some magic pins so yeah so i got myself some magic pins and i can't remember which shop i got it from and then i got i went to uh tilly i went to go to the tilly and the button stand and i got two pat i've got two patterns i got um uh, two patterns for tina buttons but it got to it got to like two two o'clock and and um i said to abby what abby sews i said to her oh is tilly around and, I, and, I, and she said no she's actually on a break um so i said to her oh if it gets a bit quiet i'll come back and um i'll, I'll come back in the next hour or so because I, I was just looking around because i haven't been to i haven't bought fabric at this point um so i've got um the the indigo pattern now i've always wanted to get this one so i've got that so i know this is a confident beginners and yeah so i've looked i've looked on they had like a they have um a rack that's full of all their samples of every single pattern so yeah so i've got myself the indigo pattern i've always wanted to make one and i think it i think this pattern would be really nice you know for the autumn um and i'm thinking about just making it now in this in this version um uh, yeah and it's cute comfortable and uh, cute comfy and effectless style this indigo smock dress has no fastening um so you can throw it on and go sew it with classic gabby seams um 
and yeah so um this size is, is um six to twenty four and the bust of seventy six 13 inches to 48 the waist is 24 to 42 and the hip is 33 inches to 51 inches so yeah and then i got myself um the billy the billy um jumper so these are my farts these are my farts and i've actually bought some fabric to go with this pattern so and so anyway uh, i thought you know what uh, because tilly and i knew tilly was there and i'm glad she was i said to her right i'm gonna do i said to abby right i'm gonna come back in the next hour or so um and then i'm gonna um tilly and then yeah so i saw tilly at the end of the day which was about four o'clock and it got a bit quiet it got a bit quiet around this time and you know i was chatting to tilly and um, by that point i've already bought her patterns anyway and i'm glad i come back because um, um i asked um i asked tilly if i can have a picture of of me me and her and she went yeah yeah and she was wearing and she was wearing the most beautiful um some fabric from fabric godmother and uh, she was wearing i think the light the lyra dress and I said to her, I said, can you sign one of my patterns? And, and she did. It says, to Jessica, lovely to meet you at the Knit and Stitching Show, um, Tilly. And yeah, I got like a picture um, before of, you know, take a picture of me and Tilly. So that was very nice. And I really, I've always wanted to meet Tilly. So now I've, now I met her, um, it, that was great. So um and so i went over to fabric fabric godmother and um i was looking to get in some um uh, some jersey now they didn't have any jersey in on on the website or it was mainly uh viscous and cotton lawn so i was looking i was looking around and i only took like a little bit of video footage when it got a bit quieter because when i um because when I went to go back, I went back again to the Fabric Godmother because I really want to get some fabric from there. And I'll show you of what, of what I have bought. So, um, and then when you get some fabric, it comes in with a little tote bag and it's, you know, and it's, and it says Fabric Godmother. So that was really handy. And um, I was looking through, um, because I'm looking through their viscous uh, collection on you know on the day and there was so there were so many to choose from and plus I'm always looking for designs that got like mainly floral um design fabrics and I looked at this and I couldn't stop staring at it as soon as I picked it up um and I think there's gonna be a really nice fabric to make with the indigo dress so i got this one um this is a beautiful um a viscous jacquard and it's got these it's on a it's on a black a black background and it's got all these different stars and suns and everything and you probably you probably won't be able to see it because how dark it is in my room but you can't really see it but it's actually got some like weaves coming through it you can't really see it really can you see it right there um so i have got three meters of this now i am thinking about making with this fabric um to go and i think this will look really nice as the indigo the indigo dress the lottery dress um and there's another dress as well that we really want to sew up but so i've always wanted to get some fabric godmother um fabric and i knew and i knew she's going to be there at this and stitching show so yeah this is what i have i have got so i think it's like really really nice and pretty i know i know it's just like black with all these different color uh, it's got a moon as well and yeah something different so that's what i've got this is like a viscous jacquard so that's what i've that's what i've got 
and by, then... this, by this point it got really really busy and I'm looking through the patterns and I've always wanted to get the flare the flare um pattern and dress and I just looked at it and I thought oh that's going to be a bit tricky for me but I didn't actually know that it's from a beginners until I went on the website um when I came when I came when I came back to the hotel and I'm glad I've made I'm glad I've got it because I think it'd be really nice of some fabric that I've already got when I went to went, uh, went on Saturday so so again it comes in this little bag so my mum treat myself to a pattern and I got myself uh, the flare the flare dress and blouse um and i was thinking about making you know just making the the blouse and i know it's been around instagram and i thought do you know what you know mama said you know what i think it'd be really nice you know as a blouse and then she's thinking about want, wanting me to make this version for my mum um or we went to again went to to tin and button because there's some fabric that I want to make for my mum but I want to try out different wearable twirls to fit her size and to actually cut out um, this fabric so yeah so I got myself the the fleur the fleur the fleur dress and blouse so yeah I'm gonna give that a go as well again it comes it comes in with a another fabric godmother so now i've got two of these tote bags I went to stitch i went to stitch fabrics and there was some fabric that i really want to get on the website plus i didn't tell i didn't tell i didn't tell the person to contact if they got it on the day and i didn't and it all sold out by the time by the time um on yesterday um so I thought, you know what? I really want to get some some jersey, some cotton jersey, so I can start making the Billy the Billy jumper. Now, I didn't I didn't actually look around the stitch fabrics. I only want to go to that one, so I might have to get it on their website. So I thought, you know what? Uh, I think one tip: if you go to a knitting stitch show and you got and you find something on their website, then just contact. <coughs> you can contact. Um, no, contact them through email or message. Just ask him if I'm going to bring it on on the show. But um, so I wasn't there for quite. I was because by the time I went to the stand for stand fabrics, there were a lot of people there, and I couldn't really get through to have a look around on their on their fabrics. So so I just I I went I went off, and then I went to. Uh, sister, uh, is it sister? Actually, I'll grab the back. Um, I went to the stand, uh, sister Mentaka, and I knew I knew Beth was there, but I think she went on the Friday, so I actually missed her. And she was on, uh, and she was on M fifteen. Um, and also there were loads of different fabrics, and the one that really caught my mum's eye is is this one. Uh, which part of the collection that's called the art department and basically the art department is where we separate the world of uh, creativities and search across the world for art that I love to sweat to love to wear connecting directly with artists to find prints that are sparkly the uh, joy the artwork is used to create a truly unique range of textiles that you can feel happy and confident in so do you want to see what what i've got and um this is going to be to make for my mum now my mum is now a, a music a music teacher in the college um and where she is literally about half you know around the corner for where she lives and my mum loves playing the piano and music and we could stop staring it for absolutely, absolutely ages. And let me tr let me get it out. And it's this. Oh my word! 
so I don't really want to like fold it and this is it this is what it looks like um it's got like like a little key like a little piano there it's got like a little um music sheet it's got a where is it it's got a violin as well and then it's got like a a statue so i don't really want to get it out and fold it up so this is it this is uh, i've never sh should I show you on um, um i think it's called um some sort of a viscous now i'll just put the the name in the description box uh put the description box put the name on the screen at the, at the bottom and i think it's, it's it's absolutely lovely and soft so this is my ever first and look at it it's got i'll just stand up look at it how beautiful is this i'm gonna turn it around how beautiful is that it is absolutely stunning and it's got like pinks and blues and yeah it's just i've never seen this this print before from sister mentaka from, from sister mentaka and yeah and i cannot wait to make something for my mum with this fabric so this might take a while to cut into this uh, this is also a, vi a viscous but when i sometimes when it's a bit it's a bit slippery but i think i'm going to make something so my mom my mom bought this this fabric and then and she said right can you make something because i absolutely love it so it might so my mom said i'm gonna make a dress out of this fabric so so yeah um because my mom my mom always wants to find some music design fab fabric i was there for quite a while at sister mentaka and she has some most beautiful beautiful fabrics and i couldn't actually get a picture of her stand but she has some amazing beautiful um fabric and all oh, my word it was absolutely stunning so so that's what i've got from yeah. so i've got like three meters of this so i'm gonna literally put it back in the bag because i don't really want to like you know unfold it it's so neatly that foldable so yeah i've got next yeah. fabric that i've got i got i want to go back to the drawing board and get us some cotton jersey now yeah it's starting to get a bit busy and yeah i was a bit i'm getting a bit you know a bit tired and i thought you know what i'm just gonna i need something to eat around this point so i was waiting uh i think uh this fabric i'm gonna show you i think i got it from lily fabrics i think i did yeah because i was there for ages looking around i want to get some jersey so i got this for 30 pa 13 pounds per meter and i can't stop staring at it because there's two colours that I really like is blue and there's also a bit of pink. Now it's like it's I can't really see what it, what it is because but, it's, but but it feels texture um at the and yeah so it's got a bit it's got a bit of a stretch but um let me just have a look it's got a bit of a stretch here but it's got loads of stretch going 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 this way so yeah so i am i have got like uh three me i've got like two and a half meters of this so let me just fold it and yeah so this is this is one that i've got and it's absolutely stunning it's so it's so soft so i am thinking about making myself the jackson tea and i've got the pattern but because it's on a dark you know it's got these like a zigzag a zigzag print let me show you 
How beautiful is that? Um, so this is like cotton, cotton jersey. Now, I have got some jersey in my stash, but I haven't got any cotton jersey. So I picked that up. At Lily, Lily Fabrics, I think it's called, but there's so, there were so many. By that time, um, I, ha I had enough. Um, I had enough of um, uh, of sh shopping at this point because it got really bit busy. So I thought, right, do you know what? I've got everything that I probably need, and then we'll go back and have a look around a bit later, a bit later on. So, so. Um, I thought, right, we need to get, so I've got a few things. I went to Fabric Godmother, I went to Tilly Buttons, Ethel and Joan and all these. I got a few more as well to show you. So um, I thought, right, we need to get something to eat because me and my mum was absolutely starving and I was getting a bit like, um, yeah, because at that point it got really, really busy and it got to a point that I was getting a bit dizzy at one point because, because I was so hungry. So I thought, right, let's sit, you know, let's take, you know, let's relax and sit down and get something to eat. So there were a few, there were a few, there were a few cafes as well, um, but it was so busy, no one, no one, you could actually sit down. Um, so there was, there was like a little cafe at the entrance, but so I thought, right, let's walk up and see, if, you know, if it's still busy. And it was, it was absolutely packed. So I thought, right, let's go, let's go back to where we came from and let's go. And then there's like, there were like a, a Phoenix bar. I said, okay, then let's, let's go in. Um, and then in the entrance, they were serving like pizzas and fajitas and stuff. Um, but there were hardly any tables at one point. And then we got lucky. We got ourselves a table. So it's really hard because, you know, Alexander Palace is a massive big place, but there's so many people about at this time. And it got to like, um, it got to like three o'clock and we were, me and mum were absolutely starving. We need to sit down. I had a few bags at this point. And I said, mum, let, let's, let's go and sit down and get something to eat. So we, so we sat down. I took a, I took a bit of a breather. Um, cause I'm a bit, I'm getting a bit, um, you know, getting a bit squished at one point. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's sit down have something to eat and then, you know, um, and I'll go back and do some more spending. <laughs> so, um, I just, I'll just show you like a little picture of me and I had, me and my mum had like a meatball behind and it was, it was, you know, the chefs actually made it from scratch. And it was the best pihini I ever tasted. It was, it was big. Um, and it definitely filled me up, you know, going back, back to the hotel. So, it was a bit pricey, but it was a bit, it was just great. It was absolutely great. So, you know, I, and then I got uh, a drink and then... Um, I, and then you got, then it was start, and then it started to rain. I thought, oh, oh my word! You know, I've got a few things that there's a few stands that I want to go um, after after we've eaten. And I thought, oh my word! I thought it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain when we finish, and it didn't. It was um, so. It's, so there were a lot of people was going. There were like a little uh, gazebo outside, and plus there were loads of people actually sat there already. I thought, I'd, I'm not going to get soaking wet food because I had a few fabric at this point in tote bags. Um, so I just thought, right, um, I'm just going to wait till it stops, stops stop raining. And then I I've, I've had my peanut and I just had a little drink and, I, you know, I was just like seizing the day. Um, and then it stopped raining. So I thought I had a little wander outside to get a little bit of fresh air. So I took like a, a few photographs you probably see on a little footage of me on the day and yeah um it went on for absolutely a mile uh, at the back um because there's, there were a few entrances as well i think there were the east car on a west car as well uh and there were just so there were love there was just a lovely view and i thought you know what i'm just gonna sit down and i you know have some fresh air and come back um and i thought right let you know 
mum um, mum finished at this point and I was a lot better. I had a bit of fresh air. I've had something to eat and I was just like, come on, let's, you know, let's, you know, do a bit of more spending. So I went to uh, to uh, Brother, which also the sewing machine that I got and my other locker is Brother. And I really want to get, so I've got a few bits from, from Brother. So I have got, I have got um, a head, a hedge join, join a foot as well. And I've also got myself some um, some bobbins as well, which is seven ninety nine, and you get ten in there. And this little sewing machine foot is going to be absolutely handy because I can use this for a stitch in the ditch as well, and um, sewing it onto like um and the edge but this edge this edge joining foot will be easier to me to do some bit of top stitching because i have got some fabric from uh my last think pink subscription box like in like in, uh, in indigo denim and basically i think this little tool that i've got is going to be handy for do some stop some top stitching on the pockets as well so so far do you know what I was I wanted to get one of these and now I've got one so I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna do some practicing with this little with this little dude and do some bit of top stitching as well. So so I got that. Um and then um and then I went to Rainbow Fabrics. Now um I didn't actually spend a lot of time going to Rainbow Fabric. Do a lot. I've only had. Um, I just went to have a look on some denim and some, and then next minute, they had a separate star that's got some uh, Rainbow Fabrics uh, elements. Is it called? So, first stand full of these, which I put on the screen at the bottom. So, I've got. So they're all hanging, they're all, all, all pieces of fabrics. They had like, all of them had hangers. So I got like two pieces of fabric and you know, one of them is like five metres and one of them is like four metres. So I'll show you what I've got. So I have got this, this one. And look at it look how look at how beautiful is that how beautiful it's got like different it's got like like a, like mainly like a watercolor effect these flowers is some of us got like pink some blue some oranges so this is more like i think it's i feel it feels like a fiscus twill as well so I'm thinking about making a wearable twirl and to make the fleur, the fleur blouse. Because I've got so many of this fabric, it literally, the so, the so, the, it's literally so many of this fabric. But there's so many fabrics to choose from. So I've got, I've got this one. So I'm going to drape this over my shoulders got back a little bit of um of a little bit of drape is that the word so this this one this fabric can be like some nice like a nice nice dress for the summer or I might set this up and wear and make it a fleur a fleur dress i can make it now and then i can save it up to make it so this is going to be a fleur the fleur dress, but if I think I've got some path have it left over, I might make um the indigo dress as well. And there's also a pattern that I really want to get, but I might have to wait that till later on. And I think it's called the Style Arc Hope Woven Dress. And I think that would be nice as well. So yeah, that is that one. And then and then mum picked this out for me as well. She picked this fabric. Um, 
and this would be nice as to make a dress and I've got like five meters of this this is yeah so this has got like different 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 colors on it and it's suitable it's suitable to make like an autumn dress as well for the autumn so it's got like it's got like um in different color um patterns going down as you can see so this bit's got a bit of orange there and that's got like like a green background so let me just do it closer look as you can see I think that's gonna be this is I think this is more like a hun a hundred percent viscous this one. Um so I'm gonna try and give this a go and wear this and wear this for uh, for the autumn, you know, for to wear with some some ankle boots or some warm tights as well. It's, yeah. And I've got so many, I think I've got like five metres of this as well. Or four metres, I can't really remember. But all in all, I've got, I don't know if I've got five metres of this one and four metres of that one. And together, it was like, it was like three pounds per metre. So by the time I bought these two, it was like nine pounds. Yeah, we're like literally nine pounds. I can't remember a life from me how much it is per meter. So that's what I've got. So they're the fabrics that I've got from from Rainbow from Rainbow Fabrics, and then it comes in with this lovely, lovely tote bag. So I'm on my last fabric. Um, so I was going back and forth with this fabric and I'm glad I went and glad I bought it because it was starting to run out. So I got myself, this is going to be to make the Billy, the Billy, the Billy, um, jumper dress. Now, this is it. Look how stunning is this it's absolutely stunning it's got all different shades of blues and this is i think this is a cotton another cotton jersey um or no no this is not cotton jersey this is a french terry by dot and stripes now i've looked on this on the website and when i went to see if it's got it on the stand they had it um, and then I was coming and harming to actually get some French terry because I looked on all the fabric stores that were actually there on the Knitting and Stitching show and I thought, you know what, you know, that's the only reason why I come I come to this, to the Knitting and Stitching show, to get some French terry to make the Billy, um, the Billy dress by turning the buttons. So, so this is going to be my my wearable twirl i think i'm going to use this to wear it and it's absolutely stunning so it got it got to like it got to like half as far at this point um so um and i just thought i'm coming in Ireland to get it and i thought do you know what let's go back and get it so this here is 150 centimeter wide so i looked on Ooh, let me just grab the pattern again. So by looking to make with the, the Billy dress with this fabric, so depending on my size. So um for version version three, it says 140 centimeters. Um 140 centimeters, which is 56 inches. Uh, you need two point. You need two point one for one to six. Um, so yeah, I think for like doing size six, um, bust is forty, 
uh, 30, 34 inches or 43. Um, so I'm going to try and make the size 6 in this. So I have got 2 metres. So hopefully I'm going to make the, the billy dress. But if not, just to make a jumper as well. So I've got 2 metres of this. Now this fabric is going to be um, as part of a sewing challenge that will, that's going to happen um, next month. But I can't really tell you that. Um, because I'm part of a Flopitar for that, so keep in tune for in November. Because normally when when I buy when I buy fabrics, I normally tend to go for two point five meters or three meters. But now I thought, you know what? I'm going to make this up, and this is like ninety percent cotton and five percent elastine. Elastine, if I said that right. Um, so I've got two meters, and that and this fabric is going to be used for for the challenge that's going to be happening next month so i can't really tell you on what it's going to be so yep so keep in tuned for that one so i'm going to be making the the billy dress on a billy jumper in this and I hopefully i how much um wide how much width i got this fabric i'm surely i'd be enough to make the billy dress on a billy jumper um so by the time i want to make the billy jump i'm going to measure myself as well so hopefully because how much width of this fabric i really really want to make it up so um i've got myself so i went to Ita italian italian buttons um and i've got so little buttons as well. I've only got that a plain button. So this is the button here. Can't really see it, but it's like it's on like a gold shimmy colour. So that's so I've got myself I think I've got um about six I think or five. I can't really remember. Yeah, I've got five buttons on that one. And then I got these buttons and I could not stop staring at these. These are, are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So these are, these are the bigger buttons. These are the bigger one. And it's got all different, different colours. Can you actually see? Yeah, so I've got, so these buttons will be used to make, you know, as a cardigan as well. And I could not stop staring at them. So I've got, I've got four, got four of these, three and four, because they're like four pound for just one, for one button, <laughs> one pound for one button. And these ones were like 20, 20 pence. So that's why I've got like five buttons for that. So, yeah, I thought that'd be nice because that'd be nice to make in you know, as a blouse or something. So they'd be handy to get some buttons as well to make a blouse with buttons. Um. So else, what else did I get? So I've got... I got myself some, um, so I went to uh, Bayern's, is it called Bayern's? And I got myself some top stitching needles as well, when I do my top stitching. Uh, and I also got some, some burgundy thread to go with my cable knit. So let me just check, because it might not be the same colour. So I'll just show you the cable knit. So match up with this, match up with this. So, oh, to match up with this thread. I'm doing that. I'm, oh, I'm dropping it all now. So I don't know if it's going to be the right shade. I think I should have like took like a cut uh, sample. 
Yeah. I don't really know because that's purple and that's like darker purple. Yeah. But anyway, I've got it just in case. So it might work well with some colours that I've already got. So, yeah, I just got the wrong shade, really. So, so I have got pretty much everything that's on my list. So I did get, I did have a list of things I want to get. So the things that was on my list was uh, the edge John, the the edge John a foot, um the this. This fabric was on my list. The the Billy the Billy jumper um as well. Um the indigo that was on my list to get. Um and I want to get some buttons from Elf and Gerald and also uh, to treat myself with some earrings. But the ones, some things that have the extra things as well. So, yeah, I literally nearly got all of the stuff. So, this is very hand. This is very handy. But the thing is, though, I didn't actually get. I didn't actually get my my show guide. Um, I didn't actually get my show guide before on the day. So, yeah, it did come in handy because of uh, the floor plan on here it tells you where everything is on on which great on the great hall the west hall or the palm court as well so i spent the time looking through there um and yeah so i went on a, i went on a workshop and i got a few bits and i got a lot of things um, so I was, yeah, I was, I spent over my budget, but my mum got me a few bits as well, which are kind of nice. So I know mum, I know my mum be watching this. Um, so, so yeah, I think I've had a really, I honestly, I've had the best day yesterday. It was, it was a bit tight. It was a bit tiring getting towards, you know, getting towards the end. So, and I've met a few, and you know, I took a few pictures, and then it got to like five o'clock, and you never guess who was at the star at the stand. I can't remember what stand it was. I think it was like a stand that had sewing tools and bits and bobs, and I can't remember for the life of me what that shop was called. And I've met Luke. Um, that won the great British Sewing Bay and we got talking, we got chatting um, and you know, you know sometimes when you know you meet some people that you really want to see you've got so many things to, 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 to tell you about or ask and then my mind's completely blank because it, like, it got to like five o'clock and I was getting a bit tired so I just quickly just said can I take a photo of you because I, you know, I always like to chat with you you know on instagram live so so yeah so i got talking and it was a really nice it was really lovely to 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 uh see him in person so that was lovely so yeah you know i got everything that i needed um and then when we left when we left when we left alexander palace it was just the sun was out rather than it be raining because i don't want to get raining because i had a, like i had a lot like I had my rucksack uh, as well, which I took on the day, and I've also had a um, the t the knit and stitch and show tote bag. Um, no, and then I had the rainbow fabrics as well. Um, so I had I had a t a two tote bags to carry, and then I had uh, my rucksack. So I was getting a bit. I thought, oh my word, my back was absolutely aching by the time I went back to the hotel. And yeah, it was just, I, did, I honestly, for all in all on the day, it was a very, very tiring day just because um, what time I went. I did a workshop with the lovely Naressa, uh, which um, she was a lovely lady. And I did a little, little bit of beading, which I've probably mentioned before uh, when I went back to the hotel on Saturday, on Saturday night, yesterday. Um, 
and she was just a lovely lovely person she she was honestly i didn't i, I didn't actually do any beading before and i did i did give it a go and i'm glad that i did so that's what i'm going to be doing this week is finishing off that headband and do a bit of beading myself and then that that can be used to make as a gift as well so um i honestly i've had the honestly the best day to spend in it really was i'll definitely i'll definitely go again but i think next time i go to the kitchen show in Alexander palace alexander palace alexander palace i'll probably go like on a friday um there because it will have got because on saturday it was absolutely jam-packed uh, but i can't believe how much stuff that i've got on the day um so so yeah that isn't that is what i've got so i'll put everything in the description box down below and what i've shown you before um so anyway um thanks for watching um and probably, probably hopefully hopefully this video has got to be a long video um so i absolutely had a really good day you know get you know even just meeting people in real life took a few photographs as well which i've shown you before and yeah i've had the best time but um i was staying over in london on and then we come back um today um so so anyway um thank you for watching um I'm, I do apologise about this end of the video showing you showing you of everything that I bought and it's in a stitching show. Um yeah, I I am getting a bit tired now. I'm starting to get on a bit of a bit of a headache. So um yeah, so thanks for tuning in on my video, on my long weekend vlog. Um and then um if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then don't forget to click that subscribe button um i'm probably gonna do i could probably put like in my coffee account as well so don't forget to give me a cheeky coffee um and um i might put my instagram page as well um so i can show you all of my makes including this one which i'm over the moon about this um definitely gonna make another sagebrush top so so yeah, I thought I'd put this on, even though I need to finish it off. But this this was the top I was going to wear for this and stitch and show, but I didn't get it get it done in time. So I think my tip for myself is don't sew things last minute because it feels like I put a little bit of pressure on to actually get it done. Um and yeah, these things happen. So I don't want to rush it and go wrong on it, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to go um, get started, you know, because my sewing, my sewing room is completely full. So probably, probably I'm going to get tired up um, and then, yeah. So anyway, uh, take care, love yourself. I say this in all my videos. It's so much fun. So go sew it. Uh, take care. Bye bye for now. Mm.